Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you visit Penang, what's the first thing that you look forward to besides nasi kanda? Ah, uh, let me guess. Penang chaw fried kway teow. Today we're going to be making Penang Penang style chaw fried kway teow. Okay, now what is char and what is kway teow? Char means stir fried in Hokkien language, whereas kway teow means flat rice noodles. So guys, last week when I actually uploaded my version of char fried kway teow on my sizzle with Santi page, I received so many DMs and also so many comments as requesting me for this recipe. So this recipe is dedicated to all you kway teow lovers out there. So now let's just run through the ingredients and I'm going to go really slow, okay? I do realize even the previous video I was talking like a choo-choo train. So I'm going to go really slow with the ingredients. To the start of the show, kway teow. So I only used half a packet of kway teow. Prawns, cockles, dry chili. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to blend the dry chili today. Here we have minced garlic, fish cake, this is lap chong. Lap chong is also known as Chinese sausage, one egg, bean sprout, chives, which is also known as ko chai. Okay, so these are all the main ingredients. Now let's move on to the sauce. Thank Salt, you. white pepper, sugar, fish sauce, thick soy sauce, oyster sauce, light soy sauce and oil. So now I'm going to be teaching you guys how to blend the dried chilli. Okay, so dried chilli, what I usually do is that I actually cut into small pieces like this so that I can remove the seeds from inside because my mom has actually told me that the seeds are very unhealthy for the body because it goes and um, gets stuck inside our digestive system. We're going to pour hot water into the dried chilli and let it soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay? Moving on, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to clean this cockles. Okay, this is fresh cockles. I'm going to pour hot water inside here. And I'm going to put like one teaspoon of salt. Okay, the salt is actually basically to kill all the germs inside the cockles. So let this soak for about 10 minutes and then you will see that the shell is all slowly opening up and then you can actually Pitchy the cockles from inside. <laughs> you can actually remove the cockles, the, the flesh of the cockles from inside. Okay. okay, it's time to make the sauce now. So this is the most crucial part, okay? The mixing of the sauce has to be really accurate. Otherwise, your entire kwekia dish is going to be ruined. Okay, so here I'm going to put two tablespoons of light soy sauce. tablespoon of oyster sauce one teaspoon of thick soy sauce one teaspoon of fish sauce a dash of pepper and half a teaspoon of sugar mixing up the sauce and we are going to set this aside. Okay, now we are going to blend the chilli. So the dried chilli has soaked really well. I'm going to put this all into a blender. Dry chilli in and we are going to put just a bit of water. Here's a tip for you guys. Adding in few drops of oil into the chilli actually gives a smoother consistency. So now, we're going to blend this. Here's the grinded chilli paste. So we're going to set this aside and now I'm going to teach you guys how to remove the cockles from the shell. Okay, you see this? Because it was soaked in hot water so it comes out really easily. Alright, the cockles are done. We're going to set this aside and we're going to move on to the Chinese sausage. So the Chinese sausage, is, as I mentioned earlier, it's also known as lap chong. So this lap chong, we don't need two pieces, we just need one. 
Okay, so it actually comes in doubles like this. So I just wanted to show you guys how to remove the lap chong from the skin. So we're going to cut this. Okay, we don't need this. Got like a layer of skin just above here. So we need to remove this. are ready now let's rock and roll by the way just to remind you guys please ensure that all the ingredients are within your reach okay because this will be done in five minutes so you don't want to be running back and forth looking for the stuff right so make sure it's all within your reach just like this okay so i'm going to switch on this too we're going to go in with the oil and straight away we're going to add the garlic chopped garlic We're adding two to three tablespoons of grinded chili. So this totally depends on how spicy you want it to be, okay? We love our dishes to be spicy, so hence why we like to add more chili. So let this chili paste to cook for a bit. So we're going to stir this for about two to three minutes until the chili paste becomes a bit thick and a bit darker in colour. And we're going to go in with our cockles first. Fish cake. Prawns. Chinese sausage. Okay, once the prawn turns into this kind of pinkish colour, we can go in with the koi kiao. Okay, once the kuei is added, we're just going to stir for a bit and we can go in with our sauce. Just stir one more time. And here we go. Stir this for a while. We're going to go in with the bean sprout. This is koi kiao garing. Okay, at this point, we're going to break in an egg now. So this is how you guys break in the egg, okay? Set all the noodles aside and then break in the egg at the middle. Then stir this for a bit and put the noodles on top. And finally we can stir it all together. Alright guys, the final step. We are going in with the kochai. Kochai is chives. Okay, one more last stir. And we are done. There is no salt added because we use two kinds of salty sauce which is soy sauce and also fish sauce. So this is just for information eh? so that I do not get questions on the comment box asking me how come there's no salt. Let's do the taste test. 
Oh my god, this is crazy, man. <laughs> it is super duper good, my goodness. I can just eat this every day because it's super tasty. If you like this video, kindly hit the like button, do share and subscribe with your friends. And please do try this dish at home guys because it's 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Yes, it is definitely. So, till we meet again in our next video, goodbye.